Well, hello, hippo friends. Miss Ginny here. Hope you're having a good day. You're probably wondering why I have sunglasses on and why I have a hat on. Well, I am going to take a pretend trip to the desert, and it's really hot in the desert. So you need a hat, you need sunglasses, you need bug spray, and you definitely need sunscreen. But also on this trip, I might bring my notebook, draw some pictures. Also, I'm going to bring my water bottle. But I decided I'm not going to bring any water bottle. I'm going to bring the Hippo water bottle. Isn't that fun? All right, so to tell you where the desert is, I'm going to use a special map. So here's the map. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this. All right, so here is Missouri. Here's the arch. This is St. Louis. This is where we live. The desert that we're gonna talk about is all the way down here in Arizona. Now I know Rowan and James went to Arizona this year. Maybe some of you have been to Arizona in the past, but this is where the desert is. Okay, let me put that down. All right, I'm going to show you some pictures of the cactus that are in the desert. So the first one is called the Suaro cactus. They can grow for about 200 years. Or I should say they can live for 200 years and they grow arms. They all look different. Look at this one. This one has my, uh, my daughter and my cousin. Are their cousins in it? Look at this one. Look at all the arms on that cactus. That's a really old cactus. This one's called the barrel cactus because it looks like round barrels. And this is a cactus garden. My mom sent this to me. It does need a little water, but I wanted to tell you these are the two barrel cactuses. And this is a swirl cactus. It is very young and needs to grow a lot more. Um, on these cactus, are, they're called spines, these little prickly things. I'm not going to touch them because they'll hurt. But these spines protect the cactus from the hot weather and also from other animals who might, might want to take a bite out of the cactus. I have a picture. Let's see if I can get it. Ugh. I'm going to try to get this, this extra real spine out. Here it is. Okay. If you look closely, right in there, that is an actual real spine from a cactus. Isn't that cool? I have to keep it in the special tube here or else it will hurt me. So I just wanted to show you what that looks like. It's pretty big, isn't it? All right. The other thing I wanted to show you are pictures of some animals that live in the desert. So let me get them. Okay, so the first animal, lizards. They are all over the desert. Another animal is the owl. The owl lives in the desert. Another one is a bobcat. Another one is called a javelina. Kind of looks like a pig, but its name is javelina. The next one is a coyote. The next one is a rattlesnake. And this one is called a jackrabbit. It's just like a rabbit, but look at the ears. They're a lot bigger than a regular rabbit, the jackrabbit. The next one, this bird is called a quail and here are some quail eggs. Can you see that okay? All right. Um, a next bird or next yeah next animal is called a roadrunner. They go really fast. All right. I will have to show you one more thing. This is a snake skin. See that? Okay. So this came from a king snake that's in Arizona, in the desert. As snakes grow, 
they shed their skin. So this skin was on the ground at my mom's friend's house and she decided to mail it to me. What's neat about these skins is that birds can use them to make nests. Isn't that great? It's really pretty, isn't it? See up close? See all the scales? Really neat. Okay, well, one more thing. And I think we're done here. Okay, these are lizard skins. Real lizards. Isn't that cool? Look at the pretty colors they have. These are also from the desert. Pretty neat, huh? All right, well, this is all for now. I'll be back to read you some stories. Bye-bye.